Hello, I'm Richard Ridge for Broadway World. Pulitzer Prize winning playwright Ayad Akhtar is back on Broadway at Lincoln Center with his new play, Junk, under the direction of Tony Award winner Doug Hughes. And we're here on opening night to celebrate with the company led by Stephen Pasquale. It is opening night, I can finally say it. Welcome back to Broadway, my friend. Thanks How do you so feel much. tonight? Uh, incredible. I'm working on an important, huge, yeah. new American play written by a Pulitzer Prize winner who should win another one for this play. Uh, in the closest thing that we have to a national theater in this country, on a Broadway stage, uptown Manhattan. I mean, what, what could be better? It's your debut, right? It's crazy. It's insane. It, it, it feels like a dream. Because you remember all the side jobs you used to take, and you're like, wait, I'm here. I'm, I'm doing the thing, and I'm doing a thing that is relevant to where we live today. It's, it's a, an incredible feeling. We started this uh, uh, in, at Vassar about three or four years ago, I can't remember, and we've, and we've done many uh, workshops of it and that it is finally open and at Lincoln Center, which is the perfect kind of place for it. It's just uh, amazing, amazing. And it's, um, it's been a joy working on it for a long time. And, and this is the culmination of a lot of work. Uh, and it's just fantastic that it's able to be put on. It's a large cast, a lot of people. The fact that it's on and at Lincoln Center is, is just amazing. How do you feel tonight? I'm so excited. It's been a long, uh, a long time. I've been with this play for three years. We did a reading up at Vassar in 2015, and then we did like three or four uh, readings in New York. So I feel like you know, finally, it's kind of opening, and I got to do it. And so and at Lincoln Center. I know. I know. Doug was saying the director was saying, well, it's, Lincoln Center is kind of like a, a real national theater. So it's such a privilege to be here. I feel so good. It was such an exciting, thrilling night tonight. We had such a good audience. The energy was amazing. It was great. Uh, oh, so relieved. We're so happy that we're open and it's just going to get to do it now. It's uh, It was a great night. I feel so happy and it's like a dream come true. Working on an incredible play like this with Doug Hughes and Ayad Akhtar and an astonishing company of actors. It's, it's from the moment we started rehearsals, it's been a dream come true. I feel great. I'm glad that it's over because yeah. opening nights can always be a little like, oh no, it's opening night, but it, 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 it was great. It was a really fun show. I think everyone had a good time. I feel uh, very, very happy and very gratified and, 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 and a little proud um, to be involved in this extraordinary piece. Um, you had just said to me that, uh, that you know me from the, from the mus musical world, the musical theater, which, which I also love. I love. Um, but this piece is, uh, is important to me because it's, it's where I come from. Uh, my mentors in college said uh, you, you need to go out and, and do theater that matters for this country. I feel wonderful. It's nice to be around all these lovely people and, and it was a, you know, an amazing house tonight. The, the response to the show was really incredible. Everybody seems so seamless playing them too. What's it like living in the world of the man you play? Well, everyone in the play is incredibly flawed. And the, the genius of it is feeling the audience rooting for you in one moment and then making a judgment about you in the next. Um, and the play doesn't make any judgments or indictments on how we operate in America and in finance, but it certainly asks you, the audience, to examine how you feel about it. Uh, and I think it's an incredible accomplishment for a topic that could feel potentially a little dry. It's a thrilling evening of, of theater, and that's Ayad's genius, really. You play Steven's wife. What a great role. Yeah, I love her. Amy Merkin. She's tough as steel. She's just passionate. She's really, really idealistic in a lot of ways and a, a real equal partner, even though you also meet her when she's sort of staying at home, nursing a baby, but also clearly doing work behind the scenes. You realize how tough she is then. Oh, so tough, yeah, yeah. And I love her journey in the play. I love where you meet her and then where the last scene and then you sort of learn about what happens and yeah, yeah. It is uh, it is an extraordinary role. Doug and Ayad have given me uh, an amazing gift and I'm grateful for it every day. Uh, I play a man who is ambitious, who is ruthless, 
who is essentially an optimist and the positive sort of fear, fearlessness that Izzy has is part of what allows Bob to sort of pick him to be the next king. Uh, and over the course of the play, as he goes from being a boy to a king, just like a Shakespeare play, which Ayad has imagined. So it's an, an amazing journey to make every night, and I have, it's a, I feel so grateful to be here. I mean, the role I play is a woman who wants more, and I think it's, yes, she's a black woman, and so that's an experience I resonate with deeply, but it also is something, something more than that. It's an interesting play because what it does, it turns past tense into present tense. All of a sudden, we're tricking the audience and thinking, like, this is, this is a world removed from ours, and all of a sudden, things collide, and you're like, wait, we still have a wage gap. <laughs> we still have women who don't earn as much as men. We still have black Americans who are treated like they're not citizens. We still have these things that war against each other. And I think Jackie's story is just one, one part of that story, which is a woman who is in an industry that does not serve her, a woman who wants more and wants as much as she puts in that she's getting and I think it's a story for me as a woman who's ambitious resonates I might not agree with her ethics but I understand the drive I understand the desire and the the, the, the need to to demand for more not ask demand it must have been the most incredible rehearsal room it, it's just it's it's such a sublime thing to be yeah. working with Doug it's my eighth show with him so it's uh, it's always just yeah the greatest thing. It's the dream you have of what theater will always be. Sure. And when and you're with had Doug, it eight times. I've had it eight times. Yeah. What are you enjoying the most? Um, I think just playing with this group of actors. Uh, they're world class and they're some of the best in New York City and um, and they're also so much fun so it's just great to be free with them on stage and we trust each other and we get to say these incredible words every night. Reading the script, I mean, what a brilliant writer Ayad is. What went through your mind the first time you read it and why you wanted to do it? Well, I, the character just appealed to me because it was so real. And and the um, it's just something that I felt I could inhabit without, uh, you know, getting a chance to do something in powerful and real for me. So that was what appealed to me. And then the whole script, I mean, I'd seen Disgraced. I knew this guy was a fantastic writer. This came right up to it. It was just, just an extraordinary piece of writing, as you could see tonight. You know. Joy. It's uh, such a joy. It's a, I think it's a masterpiece. It's a great play. It speaks to our time. Uh, set in the 90s, but it's, uh, it's, it, it resonates with an audience so well, especially after everything that people went through in 2008, which was a great sort of period where the general public found out an awful lot about the way the financial world works and the way our world works that we're living in today. And this play, it's just so satisfying to do something which people connect with so easily and so instantly. Because it, it, this whole business of money, it's personal. And uh, everybody has a, 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 their own response to it. But it's, it's a kind of visceral feeling doing this. It's, it's very, very satisfying. And it's, it's a show that doesn't allow for space, for space. It, it gets to the root of things and into the raw kind of messy material, the in-between stuff, the places where desires actually actually meet action. And so it's kind of, I, I love that because it's a play about money. So it could also be granular and boring, but what Ayad and Doug have done is to create a story about the emotional layer behind money and the desire for it. And working with Doug Hughes, I will walk a thousand miles to work with Doug Hughes. He is unbelievable. He's just the best. He is really, truly exceptional. I mean, I can't say enough about Doug. I mean, the guy is brilliant and so incredibly compassionate and uh, really, I think, has instilled in all of us this sense of mission that, that this play uh, needs to be told now. And I mean, he is deep, so deeply committed and has had a hand in and you know, just every facet of it for three years. Um, and I'm just so lucky to have to have landed in it, really. It's, they're so beautifully written, these characters and these roles, right? Well, I think if anything feels effortless, it's about Doug. That is about yeah. Doug. And Ayad um, is an extraordinarily surgical writer. Um, I know someone who saw the play in La Jolla and then saw the play here and said, it's the same play, but it's a completely different play. He has this ability to change a few words here and a few words there and shift a scene around and sort of reverse something and then all of a sudden everything opens up. Um, he, he's really a, 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 a deeply gifted man and to be 
able to serve up the information of this play every night is, is quite fun. Doug says um, that character is less important than information in this play. He's not interested in character. He's only interested in information. And our job is just to deliver the information and do it well. So when you took your bow tonight, opening night on Broadway, back at the glorious Lincoln Center, do you remember what you were thinking, Stephen? Yeah, I made my I made my New York City debut at Lincoln Center, so I feel like it's really feels uh, like this business is taking good care of me right now.